Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Joe Jenkins. I like to play guitar and read comic books from Guitars and Comics. Um, today, I'm here with my kids. We just did a contest entry for John's Comics with Kids, his 400 subscriber contest. Um, we're just going to run through some of the comic books I got over the weekend. Nothing too special, but I'm going to show you guys what we got. Uh, here with my oldest daughter, Sophia. She's got a YouTube channel, too. If you want to check it out, it's called Just Sophia. Um, and then my son, Joseph. Uh, the first comic we got here, which my son destroyed the front of, but that's okay. Uh, the Flash 170. I think it's the first appearance of Magenta. It's also got Cicada in it from the, the CW TV shows. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but it looks pretty cool. The cover does look really cool. Because yep. it has like bolts flying all over know. the What's place? this one called? Web of Spider-Man. Web of Spider-Man 1. I'm excited to see that one because Spider-Man can shoot out webs. Mm -hmm. But what about this one because it says web. Yeah, the web of Spider-Man. So I'm scared if he's going to do something crazy with his webs or what. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find out when we read it. Okay, next one here. A couple of my son's favorite characters. Daredevil and the Black Widow. I got 102 and 105. Um, let me see here. One of these has something special. I'm not sure what, but no, I don't know. But either way, cool looking covers, old school stories. I love Daredevil. I like Black Widow, so I'm sure those will be good. Black Widow, Black Widow is my favorite character. Yeah, from the movies, right? Uh huh. And my brother and me like to play with in the playroom. Yeah, they got a Black Widow toy that they like to play with. Uh huh. Um, next up is the new Teen Titans, cool. number twenty-three. Really, really, really cool cover. I have no clue that Teen Titans was in it. That Teen Titans was in a comic book. Yeah, look, it's got Robin and Kid Flash, and it looks like Starfire's in trouble. Uh, uh, her name's Joseph Wobbin. Yep, and I think it's the first appearance of Blackfire, for whatever that's worth. Uh, Daddy? What? Uh, Get up here, boy. Uh, Starfire? Her name's Blackfire? That's Blackfire, and this is Starfire. And, uh, and then the, and then the show on my tablet. It looks 3D. See, that looks 3D, kind of. Yeah. And, and, the, and the show on my tablet, she's... She's mean to Starfire because she let the aliens catch her. Oh, really? Oh, so Blackfire's in Teen Titans Go? Uh huh. Wow. I think it's very weird. It says to she's see. Princess Coriander's sister. I think she's kind of weird to see because I never see her. And she's before. crossed the universe to destroy the Teen uh, Titans. I think she's weird to see because I never Daddy, see her in Teen Titans Go on yeah. the TV Daddy. show. What? And, 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 Talk up so they can hear you. And Black and Blackfire's sister is mad because she leaked, and she was nice to Starfire. Oh, really? And in the movie, she she was mad that she gone away, so she used her electric sky punch to punch through the wall that when she was in jail, and then the alarm break, and they dingle, and then they know that she's gone. Bubba, don't spoil it all wow. the way. Yeah, Bubba told you the whole story there, so hopefully you guys have seen it. Um, next up here, Batman 206 walks the last mile. When my brother Joseph was talking, I was like, what does that say? I was like, Bat? And I was like, man, why? that doesn't sound like yeah. Batman because I couldn't really see the cover. Really cool. You can't tell what, who it is, though. Yeah. Like that. I think it's Silver Age or Bronze Age. I get confused on the, the time periods for these things, but... Looks really cool. It's weird because Bat Batman is usually black and that has like blue on it. Yeah. So I'm like, what? What is it? Well, that's the Batman in the comics. He's got, uh. he's got blue stuff. I think it's supposed to be black, but whatever. That's uh, creepy. Yep. Next up, we got Fantastic <laughs> Four, 248 and 249. There's a giant eye. I know. <laughs> Nightmare. Guest starring the Uncanny in Humans. You guys can look at that one. That one, I'm not gonna look at it. It's creepy. And this one's Man and Superman. 
Really, really, really cool covers. Can't wait to check these out. I didn't know that there was a man in Superman. She's freaked out by the eye, in case you didn't see it. Okay, next up, we got Heroes for Hire, number 14. Got Iron Fist, uh, looks like Nova, Luke Cage. Some really cool, really, really, really cool cover. At first I thought it said Hot Wheels, but then I was like, wait, yeah. Hot Wheels isn't a superhero thing. Here there be dragons, that's what it says on the cover, so. That one looks really cool. Probably should have put this one in the kids video because it looks like it'd be a good good read for the kids. Um, next up, we got another New Titans. This has got a scary looking cover. I don't oh even... Oh my gosh, I'm not looking at that one. I'm hiding. Cheetah. They're terrified. Somebody's getting their hair yanked. Looks pretty cool. Uh, New, <laughs> Titans, look... New Titans 108 is what that one's called. Looks like in that. Look, look at this one. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Doctor Strange number nine. I don't have much. I don't, I don't know that. much about that one, so I won't that, talk about it. That, that Had to take a quick cut there. My kids took off. So, um, next two I got are the Flash 291 and the Flash 308. Don't know a ton about these books, but uh, me and my son are big Flash fans. So anytime I see the Flash, I usually try to pick them up. Um, God, do I say um enough? Uh, Hulk 2, 2099. I do not know much about these 2099 books, but I got the, um, there's another one. I have the Spider-Man 2099, so figured why not. Don't mind the $4 price tag. I definitely didn't pay 4 bucks for it. This video is turned into Cut Central. Much respect to all of you guys that run YouTube channels with kids. I don't know how you do it. You get interrupted a lot. Um... All right, the next five I got here are the Legion of Superheroes, uh, 290, 291, 292, 295, and 298. Don't know a whole lot about the Legion of Superheroes. I probably should, but I don't. Um, probably my favorite looking cover out of this lot, if you made me pick one, was uh, this 290 here. It's got Superman falling through space on this guy's chest. Look like they should be really cool stories. I'm glad I got the little run here because then I'll be able to figure out kind of what's going on. All right, next up I got Detective Comics 36, The Terminal Part Two. Lots of words there. Um, decent looking cover. I'm not a huge fan of the art on the cover, but I got it for pennies, so worth a shot. Next up I got some Wolverine here. I think. Yeah, got a few of them. Yeah, I got five Wolverine. Got 40, 42. This one's got Wonder Man, I just realized. Um, 43, 44. And 100. That 100 cover is awesome with Ghost Rider on, kind of falling into the 100 there. Yeah, I'm lifelong Wolverine fan, so cannot wait to get those in the collection. It's about the fifth cut there for you keeping track at home. Uh, next up is a character that I've always loved and actually got grounded when I was younger because my parents found a book of his in my room. Not of his, but about him. The Punisher. Love all the Punisher movies. Love the Netflix series. Punisher Warzone is honestly one of the most underrated comic book movies ever. Uh, super graphic, super violent. Uh, lots of cussing. Uh, great, great movie though. Uh, this book, number 14, don't know too much about, but I do like the cover. Got the logo there with him sniping off the rooftop. I'm going to add that to my pile of Punisher comics. Next up is a fucking badass cover. Pardon my language there. Variant um, Phoenix Resurrection. Jean Grey is one of the greatest X-Men characters ever. Does not get enough credit because the movies did her so wrong. Um, but cannot wait to check this one out and read it. 
Then we got Spider, The Amazing Spider-Man. This is the Media Blizzard uh, three-part series. Uh, this is part two. I got part one coming in the mail this week sometime. Uh, I think this one has Mysterio in it, so that looks really, really, really cool. Oh, this is an Art Germ variant, by the way. Never said that, but now I did. Then we got Astonishing X-Men number one, the annual. Pretty awesome looking cover. Not a big fan of the, the recent X-Men stuff, but I figured it's worth a shot. All these books were, I mean, we're talking quarter bend books, so. Um, then finally, man, the um counter is just racking up here. Web of Spider-Man 79. It's got the killer android in it. Really, really cool story of Spider-Man walking in the park with uh, Mary Jane, and they're attacked by a group of thugs who then he comes to realize are all androids. And the one on the cover here, spoiler alert will not die he just keeps throwing everything he's got at her and uh by the end she's nothing but this big exoskeleton um i don't want to ruin the ending for you but i'm sure many of you don't care anyways by the end he's actually uh captured and brought back here we go there's open here find it there we go so the whole time silverman is controlling these cyborgs more or less to bring him back to drain spider-man's blood for silverman so really really cool story there i always love the spider-man stuff there's a there's a few characters where anytime i see anything related to him i usually try to pick it up the flash is one uh, the Punisher is one, uh, Spider-Man, oops, ruining this, and Wolverine. Those are probably the four. I love Batman, I love Superman, I love all that stuff, but anytime I see Spider-Man, Punisher, Wolverine, or Flash, I usually try to grab them. All right, well, that's, that's it for my stack, guys. This will probably run way longer than I planned on doing, but uh, just getting into the video thing, as you can tell, I'm pretty rusty at it uh so once again if you could just in the comments section below if you if there's anything about this that it's bothering you maybe the way i present the comics or anything like that feel free to let me know uh maybe you don't want to see my face as much and more of the comic books I totally understand just let me know so i can make some changes in the future uh if you like the video um i'd appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already uh my name is joe jenkins my kids are not here anymore, but they were at the beginning of the video. Um, stay tuned for more. Rock on.